These bags are almost perfect, but there's one or two changes that makes it 9 out of 10 for me. So if you're interested in seeing those bags that are almost perfect, stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and thanks for joining me on my channel and I want to welcome you to the Babe Cave today. And I was tagged to do this video by Eva from Fuchsia Floyd and her and Melissa Adams Wade did their 9 out of 10 video on the bags that have just a, a little bit of change and it would have been perfect for every category. Thank you, Eva, for tagging me. Uh, I'll link both of their videos down below so you can watch theirs on their bags that are almost perfect. So, without further ado, let's get to my first one. So this is the Dooney and Burke, I believe, small messenger bag. And I really like this bag. I haven't carried it a ton. And this is a next fashion chain. And I'll be sure and leave the link for these chains. They're really good chains. And anyway, this is the small size. Well, the way it is, it's a north-south shape. So you kind of have to dig down deep for things or maneuver your things around so that's kind of a con for me but really it's because I should have gotten or should have waited and they make a bigger size of this exact same bag I think the bigger size would have worked better for me this one has a crossbody strap which is nice and it has a back pocket which is good I just feel like if I would have waited until the bigger size came out with a shoulder strap, I, I believe I would have wore it more than I wear this one. I love the look of it. I love the hardware. It's just if it would have been bigger. <laughs> so to me, that's a 9 out of 10 because I should have waited, which who knows... <laughs> if they're going to bring out a bigger size, you know, I had saw this bag and loved it and it's in the color natural. It's a beautiful bag. It's just a little bit hard to maneuver your things in a north south bag plus it's smaller. So, this is my first one that is a 9 out of 10. My next one is my fossil barrel bag. Now, this is such a cute and fun winter bag. This was the first purchase of the year of this year and I've carried it uh, and the everything about it I love the size, the shape, the brown leather with the the faux shearling but if you don't fill it up properly this bag when you have it on your crossbody strap will tend to flip a little bit and here are the d-rings here that you clip across and so that's the downfall is that it sometimes if you're not careful it'll flip on your body so other than that i do love it and that's why it's a nine out of ten i don't know if it's because of the length of the bag why it would flip over but You've got to make sure you put enough in this bag so it won't do that. So that's the only con on this cute, cute fossil barrel bag. And uh, they make a leather version of this as well. So just be aware if you don't put enough stuff in it, it will fling over on your body. Uh, so that is my fossil barrel bag, 9 out of 10. Next would be my beautiful Bitsy bag in the French blue. I love this color. I love the bag. It has feet. You know what the con is. 
the straps, the crossbody strap goes diagonally. And I don't like the look like many other people. It's just not our favorite look when it's diagonally across. So I wish they would have somehow, some way made it where it was just on the sides or something to make it a 10 out of 10. But it is 10 out of 10 otherwise. If you just want to carry it top handle like I do, it's perfect. But yeah, the, the whole diagonal strap thing bugs me. So again, this is Dooney and Burke, the Bitsy bag in French blue. Next is actually a quince bag. And this is probably my favorite of all my quince bags that I have gotten. And it is so soft. It has only one magnet, so that's good. It has a beautiful brushed type hardware. Uh, I could live without the middle pocket uh, since it's kind of a smaller crossbody bag. But that really isn't a deal breaker for me. The The inside pocket's not really a thing because I downsize for bags anyway. The downside is I wish there was a pocket on the back. There's no feet, but that doesn't bother me either. It's just I wish there was a phone pocket back here. And I have put bought Amazon clips just to make it a cute little top handle. But normally it's a shoulder or a crossbody bag. So my only thing that I wish was there was a back pocket. And this is uh this is called the convertible crossbody from Quince in the color dark taupe. We're going to move on to my Dooney and Burke bag and this is uh the baguette from Dooney and Burke in the Florentine navy leather I really really love this bag. It has feet on the bottom. This is where I don't like this big hole here. I don't know who decided that that was a good idea at Dooney. Uh, but you know it, it could have been finished a little differently somehow. I'm not sure how because I don't Put bags together but this hole is a little strange to me on that but other than that it's perfect again this is a next fashion chain it it's a beautiful Florentine Navy bag everything's perfect I just don't like this weird hole <laughs> like my chapstick could fall out of that if it tipped over it hasn't but <laughs> Everything else is beautiful. No back pocket, but it doesn't bother me on this one. So, and it, the strap drop is perfect. These Florentine, they also have these baguettes in pebbled leather now. And I've seen a hot pink one that was beautiful uh, in pebbled leather. I'm very tempted. <laughs> but anyway, this is my 9 out of 10 just because of that weird hole there. Okay, next one would be, this is, I would say, nine and a half out of ten, because it is so beautiful. It has a back pocket. I love the turn lock, the quilting. You've all seen my pillow, Madison. If you're, if you're new here, this is in the top five greatest bags, because this reminds me of a Chanel type bag with the soft quilt. This is lambskin, Napa leather. Great, great bag. Back pocket, if I didn't mention. Has leather detail in the chain. My only nine and a half is this right here. This pocket. This, this flap, I should say, is... I, I don't know why we need the flap. <laughs> Did you Do you agree with me on that? Like, it could have just been a front pocket without this flap, and I think it would have been perfect. It would be 10 out of 10 minus this flap. So, that's my only uh, thing I 
would rather it not have, but it does. So it's almost perfect. And again, this is the Coach Pillow Madison in the black. So this is the Dooney and Burke Flap Crossbody in the color blush. And this hang tag was on the strap, which I thought was weird. So I attached it to its little hole here where the, the crossbody strap goes. No back pocket. Here's the bottom of the bag, beautiful glazing. So as you can see right here, uh, this is why I'm calling this not a 10 out of 10. And I'll show you what that is. The opening doesn't bother me. It has that middle compartment, which usually I'm okay with, but why put a giant leather tab on there? And so you have to make sure that you put it in like this so it's not sticking out the side. Uh, it's beautiful red interior with that blush pink is super pretty. Love the strap. Everything is good about it. Uh, just one, they probably could have just left out the pocket or made something that was much smaller than this flap, this giant pull tab here. That's the only flaw. So I have to make sure if I'm in my bag that I keep that on the inside. Other than that, you know, it doesn't have a back pocket, but everything about this is it's a structured type bag and I just really like how they did it. I like how they extended these little strap parts with the, it's the leather made with the leather and it, so it won't hopefully rub against this part of the glazing. So yeah, that would be that z zipper pull was too long in my opinion. So I think that wraps up my nine out of 10 almost perfect bags that I have. I love all of these bags, but you know, sometimes there's always something you would rather not be there or you would change about a bag. So let me know if you have bags that you would change just the slightest little thing to make it 10 out of 10. And thank you again for tagging me, Eva. I will try to tag some people if you have, or haven't already been tagged or already have been tagged, then ignore this. Just watch my video. <laughs> but I appreciate all of you for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also down by the like button. You can share my channel to others, handbag lovers. And that is all I have for today. I appreciate all my new subscribers for coming. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye.